So I often talk about micro independent brands on the channel. They're really not a micro brand. They're really not an independent brand. Definitely not a major brand. Maybe they're on their way to becoming a major brand. However, there are a few brands that I call a micro independent. Formex are one of them. And today we are looking at the Reef. Now, when I refer to a micro independent, I'm talking about watches or watch brands where they have their own sort of design DNA. They are Swiss made, they're high quality, better than what you get from a micro brand. However, on par with a major brand, but they are not a major brand yet. And that's what I really consider with Formex and brands like Christopher Ward. So this is a COSC certified dive watch, 300 meters. This is the Reef, uh, a watch that I've been trying to get on the channel for quite some time. You get the certificate uh, signed Formex there for COSC certification. And then of course you get uh, information on the watch, your uh, warranty information and things like that in the handbook. Uh, outer box is a cardboard box. Inner box is a leather box that has some stitching. It just says Formex on the side right here. And of course you have a watch. So as I mentioned, this is a 300 meter dive watch and it has a few tricks up its sleeve. And we'll get to that in just a minute. First, let's talk about dimensions. They say this is a 42 millimeter watch with a 47 millimeter lug width and 11.4 millimeter thickness. The 11.4 millimeter thickness is due to the SW300 that you're getting into this watch. And that is essentially the equivalent of an ETA 2892 at his higher end offering. And this is a COSC certified version of that. So this is the Salita SW300, a very thin movement and their higher end movement, as you can see, screwing crown, screwing case back, all stainless steel construction. This is a thin dive watch for 300 meters of water resistance. Then the lug to lug is a little bit bigger than the 47 millimeters. If you're measuring the actual male end links and you get 52.4 millimeters just around there. And then the actual 42 millimeter lug, uh, actual uh, width of the watch, I get about 42.1 or 42.2, depending on where I'm measuring it from. However, if you measure with these uh, case protectors, so you get a crown protector on this side and then sort of a case butt on this side, I guess you could call it. Uh, it measures almost 46 millimeters. That's what I get. Uh, so it does wear a little bit bigger than uh, those dimensions, although the 42 millimeters is pretty on par with what it wears like, maybe like a 43 millimeter, I would say. Um, and the reason why that is uh, like this, and it doesn't actually uh, go straight down, is part because of these male end links, but also you get a quick release system on this watch where you just literally use your fingernail and this comes right off. And we'll do that in just a few minutes because I want to show you this on my wrist with the bracelet before I do that. And the bracelet is a flat link bracelet, which looks superb. Really, Formex do an incredible, incredible job with bracelets. Um, and this is a very thin bracelet. It's really nice. You, of course, get screwed links, and then you get quick adjust, which is literally one of the smoothest that I've actually experienced on any sort of micro brand, major brand, uh, out of all of them. You could just, it is so easy and it's so smooth. It literally is like nothing. It, it's very, very secure. Buckle is beautiful, large. It is milled, uh, brushing, polishing. It's signed. Uh, single fold over with a double deployment. You get two nice big buttons on the side. It's sort of bespoke for the brand as well. Uh, it's their own design. I like it. It looks good. Big crown with those big protectors on it. And then uh, it's nice and knurled. It's a large crown too. I think it's probably in the seven to uh, maybe even larger than seven, 7.4 millimeter range, um, depending on how you measure it. And then you get a 60 click bezel. The 60 click bezel on here is probably the weakest part of this watch, if you're, uh, F, if you're asking me. Uh, you do get a ceramic bezel insert. So this is the silver ceramic bezel insert. You can get a blue, a green, or a black. Um, there are a few different dial colors uh, available as well. I believe blue, green, and black as well. Uh, but let's listen to the bezel action. The bezel action is good. There is a little bit of play in either direction. It doesn't actually sit when you make it play, when it goes back and forth, it actually goes back to where it should be sitting. However, there is a little bit of play. There is a 60 click bezel, so that could be part of the reason. Uh, I would like to see a 120 click bezel on this, but uh, I don't think that's a huge deal at all. This is not going to move, but 
uh, that's really up to the pe person who's actually purchasing this. Um, and then, of course, uh, you get a Fume dial on here. The Fume dial, this is the silver version. So you get a black outer sort of portion, and then it goes to a lighter silver as you get to, towards the center. Applied indices, and you get loom on the hands and indices. That's BGW9. We will do a loom shot towards the end. Uh, but very quickly, let me throw it on my wrist, and then we will talk about price, because this doesn't come at a very cheap price, I will say, because this is not... Uh, you know, obviously a cheap watch. These are more on the expensive side because of uh, the COSC certification. And you also have um, a really nice bracelet on here with on the fly micro adjust. And of course, the ability to change your strap on the fly as well, which I got to say is pretty invaluable if you are traveling. But very quickly, let me show you what I have on my wrist. Then we will do uh, a wrist shot with this. Um, and then we'll change the strap and then uh, do a quick loom shot. So quickly today, I have the Formex Essence 39, another one of Formex's um, uh, watches. Both of these are here on loan. I need to return both of them actually very soon. I have to say, this is just an awesome watch. One of the best sort of Omega alternatives that I think you can buy on the market today. And you can see the design DNA, obviously, through both of these watches, even though you do not get that sort of um, uh, shock absorbing case because this is a dive watch and I'm pretty sure they can't do that because you have a ratcheting bezel. Um, you do definitely see the likeness. You see the family resemblance between these two watches. This is the blue dial, looks phenomenal, feels phenomenal. And the bracelet on here, obviously uh, just top notch. And you even get micro adjust on their bracelet with the double uh, butterfly clasp. That's incredible. They really do work it in. Um, and you can see the movement here. I believe this is an SW200, uh, but it's like an elaborate. They really went all out on that, and it looks really good. Ah, so very quickly, here is the Formex Essence on my seven and a half inch wrist. And you can see I have it sized up for my seven and a half inch wrist, and it doesn't wear bigger than a 43 millimeter, but it wears like a 43 millimeter, and maybe like a 42 and a half. But I'll tell you the reason why. It's because of the thinness. Look at that. 11.4 millimeters thick. That's including the sapphire crystal. Um, just a thin, thin watch. It's a thin 300 meter dive watch, uh, which is really good for uh, for 300 meters. 11.4 uh, is excellent. I have a seven and a half inch wrist. This, if you measure it from the extremities, from this actual little uh, protector to this protector, is around 46 millimeters. But the actual case itself is around 42 millimeters. At the bezel, it's under 42 millimeters. Uh, and then the lug width, I measured around 52 millimeters, including those female end links, uh, those male end links, excuse me. Uh, however, on my seven and a half inch wrist, that doesn't make a difference whatsoever. Um, and then it's 47 millimeters at the lug ends. Uh, on a strap, that will make the difference. So quickly, let's talk about price. Price on this is $1,790. So yes, that is expensive. However, like I said, this is its own design. Um, you're getting a fantastic bracelet on this, a bracelet that really is far and beyond better than any micro brand that I have come across, hands down. Um, quick release on the bracelet, also quick micro adjust, and you're getting an SW300, which makes a big difference as well. It's CUSC certified, thin 300 meter dive watch. Um, the only thing I would say is this bezel uh, that's the only disappointing part about the watch itself. Um, if you're willing to look past that, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal watch uh, from a micro independent watch brand that I think are really doing something very, very cool. Some people have a little bit of a problem with their name, Formex. Um, I don't at all. I have a history with this brand, um, you know, collecting watches over many years. Uh, I've owned Formex in the past, and I really do. Uh, they kind of hold a special place in my heart. So Formex... Not a problem, the name, I actually like it. Um, but I think this watch looks good and I think it has a lot of its own style uh, and it's very, very well made. So very quickly, I'm gonna throw it on the strap that they also supplied just to try that out. It is a rubber strap. Then we will do a loom shot and then wrap up the video. So here it is on the supplied rubber strap. You can see it comes with a deployant buckle. Uh, and that deployment buckle is made out of a combination of sort of a composite material and then stainless steel. Really, really nice. Actually, very lightweight as well. 
Um, this is sort of a waffle strap, very high quality. I'll throw it on my seven and a half inch wrist. You can see how it looks on my wrist with the strap as well. I think it actually looks as good or maybe better than it does on the bracelet on this strap. Waffle strap is really nice. Um, and this also has a molded end, so it goes right into the case. So it does wear larger than the 47 millimeters. So unless you are using an aftermarket strap, which you definitely can use with this because it's a very traditional sort of way of actually connecting to the case. It's just a spring bar. It's just really these tabs are controlling those spring bars. You could use this with a regular traditional uh, strap, I believe. Uh, but um, if you don't and you're using one of theirs, it's sort of molded to the case. So you definitely will have a little bit of extra uh, lug width. Very quickly, let me just show you, you just literally take this push down on the uh, tab that's there and it comes right out and that's really it. It's very, very easy. You do the same thing when you want to put it back in, you push down and then you put it back in and that's basically it. It's very, very easy to do. Uh, really quick, very simple. If you're on vacation and you're traveling and you want to bring more than one watch, um, it's kind of difficult, but if you have a bracelet and a strap that you could change out very, very quickly and easily, let's say you had the extra rubber strap, maybe a leather strap for dinner, bracelet for when you went to the beach or something like that, uh, it definitely works really well. Uh, it's kind of like the reason why I love my Vacheron so much because when I go on vacation, I could bring straps with me, the two extra straps that I have for it, a rubber and a leather, um, and I could use that throughout the day for any activity that I'm doing. So, very quickly, let's do a loom shot, and then we will wrap up the video. Well, there you have it. Pretty good loom on here. Uh, I believe this is BGW9 on the indices hands, and then the pip at the 12 o'clock on the actual rotating bezel, as you can see. Um, pretty good loom. Nothing that's going to blow your socks off, but it is lasting, uh, and it looks pretty good. It's uh, sort of that minty green color from BGW9. Uh, you also get a little uh, lollipop there on the second hand, so you can see that it's running in the dark, which I also very much like. All in all, I think this is a fantastic watch. I think it's a really good looking watch. You're getting a lot for that money. It is on the more expensive side, you know, because you are getting a COSC certified. If you want something that's cheaper, you can get this non-COSC certified. You don't need to get it on the bracelet. The actual strap is just as nice. Um, and they sometimes offer discounts, I believe, at Formex. Uh, these are pretty phenomenal watches, though. And like I said, they're really not a micro brand. They're more of a micro independent brand on their way to becoming an independent brand or a major brand. Um, and the quality shows that. The only problem I see with it is that there is a little bit of play in the bezel, but that's because it's a 60 click bezel. Uh, if they went to 120 click bezel, I think that would probably not be an issue. But uh, that's the design that they went with. I'm not sure. That's that's their choice. Uh, however, it's really not a deal breaker for me. I think this works really nice uh, and it looks really nice, feels really nice, and I really love the thinness, 300 meters of water resistance. And obviously, uh, the finishing on everything is really nice. You have um, brushing, polishing, uh, and it's done at a level that is a little bit of a step above. But uh, I've been wearing this on and off for a few weeks, and uh, I've been wearing the other uh, Essence the 39 for a few weeks as well. And you can see the Essence 39. I've also charged this one at the same time as this. You can see the 39 doesn't have as good of loom as the Reef, um, obviously, because the Reef is a dive watch, so it should have better loom. It's pretty good on here. And that's something that I always bring up as well. Um, they do a pretty good job of loom. So it's not the best that I have seen, but it's a very good job on loom. If this was a Tissot, it would have already faded, uh, or Hamilton or any other major brand. Uh, but this is carrying on because it's a micro independent brand. Uh, anyway, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Tell me what you think of this watch. I'll put a link to their website. As I mentioned, they let me borrow both of these watches. They do need to go back. I will be very sad to see them go. Uh, they are good looking, uh, well-made watches in my opinion. Uh, and I am really a fan of Formex. But tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I really want to hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel, and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll put you guys in the next video.